we are going to fill the table on the screen using our calculator and we are going to leave the result to one decimal place we have populated the table so let's plot the graph sign 0 is 0 sign 30 is not 0.5 sign 60 is not 0.9 sign 90 is 1 sign 120 is not 0.9 sign 150 is not 0.5 sign 180 is 0 sign 210 is minus not 0.5 sign 240 is not 0.9 sign 270 is minus 1 sign 300 is minus not 0.9 sign 330 is not 0.5 sign 360 is 0 next carefully join the points and you're going to have this this is sign graph you can see for example sign 90 is 1 sign 30 is not 0.5 which is half that's 1 over 2 sign 270 will give you minus 1 for the cosine graph cos 0 is 1 cos 30 is not 0.9 cos 60 is not 0.5 cos 90 is 0 cos 120 is minus not 0.5 5 cos 150 is minus not 0.9 cos 180 is minus 1 cos 210 is minus not 0.9 cos 240 is minus not 0.5 cos 270 is 0 cos 300 is not 0.5 cos 360 is 1 next we join the points this is cosine graph for the tan tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is not 0.6 while tan 60 is 1.7 let me assume somewhere here tan 90 does not exist tan 120 is minus 1.7 which i will assume to be somewhere down here tan 150 is minus not 0.6 tan 180 is zero tan 210 will give you not 0.6 tan 240 will give you 1.7 so let me assume somewhere here tan 270 does not exist tan 300 will give you minus 1.7 somewhere here 330 will give you minus not 0.6 360 will give you zero joining the point we have you should have this but actually you can see it like this often 